Hey, g'day guys, how you going? It's Justin Al now with my Good Advice channel. Here to give you good advice for a better future. Right, what I'm talking about today is uh, it's been like three years now sober from drinking alcohol and I'd just like to celebrate that for myself. I am just want to pass on the benefits that I've been feeling. But I would have to say like that you don't get the full benefits of, of quitting alcohol until you've been doing it for at least a year you got to get out of the cycle of the routine of doing it and you have to make a lot of yeah you know you have to give up a lot to do it you have to make a big decision to to say no and i i find you just got to go full stop and not drink at all many times before i fully quit i did keep reoccurring keep drinking and then just don't say i'm only going to have a few and then you get stuck into drinking too much but I would have to say my life so much better without drinking alcohol for the last three years it's the first day of the year of January today 2019 and I'm really proud of myself that I'm on to the next chapter of my life and I'm happy much happier now and I'm happy to look forward to the future the future is looking bright for me you close one door on one thing and you open up the door to another thing. All the money and time and energy and all the hangovers when you couldn't be bothered doing stuff and you, you also become all negative. You're technically drinking poison and paying really top price for poison. And when you go out clubbing and, and you're paying $10 a drink or more, and it just feels stupid, a waste of money. You go on to work, busting your balls at your job and you, you, you're wasting it on, on alcohol and get, getting in entry fee into clubs and you know it just adds up if, if you pull out a calculator over your lifetime you, you could retire a lot younger and you could spend the money on more positive things and it's technically just a, one of those things that you feel good for a short period of time and you feel like crap for a long period of time so you just it's, it seems like a, a bit of a rip trade-off that you're going to put yourself in for. But I, I can see a lot of people do get stuck in their routine and don't want to change. But if there's a saying, if you, if you don't willing to change your life, you know nothing's going to change. If you keep doing what you normally do, you're just you're just going to be stuck in that routine. You're, you're just going to repeat the last ten years again, again, again. If you want a different outcome in your life, you've got to be willing to change. People who have the personality to change are more likely to be successful in this world. And I'd have to say my, my memory is so sharper. I, I, I'm, I'm more positive. I'm more better person. And you, it's a good feeling waking up on a Sunday and you, you, you don't feel hungover. You, you, you haven't wasted that, you know, all that energy. And you don't, you know, on a Sunday you wake up and you have full energy to do something with the day. And you, your memory is so sharp, you remember stuff, and you, you, when you like have problems in your life, you sort of remember them in the long term, and you're sort of less likely to have the, those problems reoccurring. It's a bit like now, it's a, it's a new year, and you can go, sometimes I think like last year, 2018, you can go, gee, it wasn't a perfect year, but what can I learn from that, you know? And a big part of learning from the last year and then bringing it forward to the next year is remembering how, how if, you, if you don't remember a mistake you don't remember an issue or problem you know how can you correct it how can you, you you can't always write things down and then remember them or you might lose the paper or it takes too much time and effort you, you, your best friend is your memory to help not have recurring problems happening to you all the time it, it's made a big difference in my life and, and also like you have the energy to do other things and you, you you like you can your whole life changes I have to say when you don't when you stop drinking and sometimes like you you know like like yesterday was New Year's and a lot of people just use that as an excuse to poison themselves with alcohol you know if, if it was a New Year's you know would you drink you know it's just it's just weird how everything's just like with drinkers they, they drink when they're happy they drink when they're sad drink just because it's a Saturday night like I'm not against drinking I, I've been there done I, I have seen that there is a good side to it. it it can be fun 
but most people abuse it and then they end up giving themselves health problems and it can change their personality when they're drunk and a lot of arguments. It's a lot more negative than positive out of the outcome and if you, if you have a deep desire to be successful in this world, that, that's physically and mentally going to slow you down. It, it's like the two best things in life I believe is your wealth and your health and, and that takes that away. It's, it's a waste of money, stuffs your health. You know, it's, everyone knows, like, I, I even know a truck driver that's got serious health problems because he abused alcohol when he was younger and he drank way too much coffee, he used to abuse coffee being a truck driver. And it's really stuffed his life. And now he, he's got to the point where if he kept on going, he would have killed himself. He, his body would have just carked it. But now he's on medication, he's had half his guts removed and it's really stopped his life. He said he wished he didn't drink so much, but it's too late. The trade's been done. So you can you can learn by other people from their mistakes. And, and, and you know, smart people learn from other people's mistakes. By losers, learn by them their their own mistakes. You know, you gotta you gotta take something on board seriously. Well, I'm just saying, like, it's made my life so much better. I, I, my deep desire of my goal in life is to become rich so I have my financial freedom. And I, I believe I'll achieve it one day. And with the burden of, of not drinking alcohol, I, I'm, I'm more positive, I'm more focused on my goal, and I believe nothing will stop me. So if, if you have a deep desire to do something, one of the parts to achieve it is to making sacrifice otherwise you don't really want to do you got to be willing to you know cut a lot of things out of your life in order to achieve what you really want all right have a good day bye